Hey everybody, welcome back to Stack Snacks. I'm John Swicky, and today we are going to do a Google I.O. little recap. And we're going to go through some of the announcements because they were just AI heavy. <laughs> um, uh, so let's start off with their official blog post here. So I think the first biggest announcement was now this was announced in as like a Google Labs feature, but making the AI overviews uh, kind of permanent in search. So um, it was called the search generative experience, I believe, back in the day. But now they've changed, they've rebranded AI overviews, AI overviews, which is a much better name. And now this is going to start rolling out to. Um, I believe all users let's see yeah all users this week and then probably adding more countries over the course of the rest of the year um you know i I've, I've had this turned on since the first time i could i think it's a uh, it could be hit or miss for sure but sometimes when it hits it's a uh, it's a pretty good experience but then when it does miss it's a, it leaves a little left, a little to be desired um and I've seen this miss more than more than the other products, which seems hard to believe, but something like perplexity um, has gotten it right more often than not from my experience. But um, it'll just be interesting to see if people hate it. Do people change their behaviors? Um, is it one of those things that they launch and they say, hey, we tried this and then, hey, nobody clicks on it, so we're going to deprecate it? just so they can kind of feel like, uh, you know, they're in the mix. Um, and let's see, there was another, uh, let's see if we can find it here. AI search. Excel page. There was another announcement, which doesn't seem like it's on the official blog. Let's see if we can find the article here. Another article, I should say. Oh, wait, we got a little video here. Let's go ahead and switch on over to this. So we've got... All right, let's... Um, so we got Search in the Gemini era. So... Why, why does my candle burn unevenly? Okay. So this is a good example of AI overviews. Uh, let's go full screen. Sorry, everybody. Right, these are... Oh, there's a now going to be a simpler and then break it down further uh, feature. I haven't seen that yet. And then uh, this is now an example of a more detailed search, which. I don't know. I haven't seen this video yet. Um, where there can be some refining inside of the AI overviews, which is interesting. Uh, this is what I wanted to see. This is kind of like a completely AI driven search result page, which is also going to start coming. Um, I think that's where it's going to start to get interesting. So one of the demos was basically like, here we got a little screenshot down below, really specific query. Um, but it kind of turns the it definitely makes the page, you know, um, they kind of group the search results differently. There's like themes to it. Cause I was looking for different types of restaurants. This one says anniversary where they re restaurants and there's different kinds of, I guess, highlighting throughout the page, which is kind of interesting. Um, I think they said limited queries this year for that. Um, I think that's where, it could get um, get kind of interesting, I believe, and I, hopefully I'm not misquoting during the during the the session where they're saying Google can do some some searching for you, and I think that's you know if they start pivoting into kind of that mentality with some of their 
their products. I think that could be, um, that could be pretty, that could be pretty interesting. So then the next big announcement was Gemini one and a half. They still have a terrible branding on all this stuff. Um, okay, here we go. Today, Gemini 1.5 Pro with 1 million context window is now directly available for customers in the Gemini Advanced. Why not just call it Pro? Um, and they're also testing a 2 million context window. Um, which, you know, right, it can now start to take really large amount of input right big documents uh i think it's going to start to get interesting with how big and how um how much stuff you can kind of put into like one query and then can you have it analyze a code base so i mean there could be some definitely some interesting things with the two million context window um they seem to be pushing it though more than other people so uh you know kind of interesting and then they're bringing Gemini 1.5 Pro into workspaces. So if you're on the paid AI account, you get access to like Gemini inside of Gmail and Sheets. Um, and it looks like there's some potential new workflows coming. Um, I don't think we have a video of this either in this post, but probably the cooler thing that they demoed was, I think it was like an, a receipts thing where they had like, you know, it put all the receipts in a from your Gmail into a Google Drive photo, and then it exported them all out into like a sheet. And so it kind of did some like automatic expense reporting stuff. Again, a lot of theme with a lot of this is all this is going to be available later next year, later this year. Um, and then finally, this was kind of so Notebook LM is this. I think they're still calling it an experiment here. Let me see. Yeah, they're still calling it an experiment, but it's it's probably one of the more interesting um they're interesting one of the more interesting products of basically being able to add in your own text inside let me see if I have one uh, that we can look at. Um but basically you feed the LM the LLM your own sources and then you could just query it right ask the questions and know it'll give you citations inside of the documents that you provided um really easy to use uh I've always I've always liked it it definitely seems like they're building blocks I'm sure for their which they announced as well, which I've got to talk about. They're going to have their own like custom Gemini, they're calling them gems, where you can kind of build your own, you know, custom little, little agents. Um, so it's definitely probably going to be some of the notebook LM stuff where you can kind of add in your own stuff, query it, be able to get those cita citations. So you know where that, that source is coming from. So you kind of, kind of feel better when I write, when you're giving it your own documents. And it's persistent too, so um, you can kind of make the workspace, go back to it when you're ready. So it's a super neat little thing. So they're going to update it to the Gemini 1.5 Pro, but they're also going to be able to have this um, kind of have this audio conversation with it as well. Um, that was super cool. Um, I don't think I have, I don't think anybody has that yet. Yeah, I don't have that yet. But yeah, being able to kind of talk with your own notes could be could be pretty cool um and ask those questions and they had a demo of like oh give me an example like this and related to that basketball or something um yeah that one that one that one caught my attention i think more than most things uh out of the announcement but um so a lot of stuff happened google announced a lot of things um I still think their Gemini branding is confusing, um, but the 1.5 Pro, which is what they're calling it in the API, but then if you're using the consumer product, Gemini.google.com, that's called Gemini Advanced. 
uh, um, noticeably different, noticeably better. Um, the you we do you do get the one million context window now, um, and you know they're finally changing the search experience for the first time. Feels like in in a long time. Um, so I think a lot of interesting stuff coming. I think some of the lesser announcements I think I just found more interesting than anything else. Um, especially being able to have some automation in your productivity apps, right? With like the Gmail to the dot drive to the sheets and being able to tie some of those things together, I think would be pretty neat. So we'll see what happens, but, um, we don't have our hands on a lot of stuff just yet, but obviously we will we will spin up some demos uh, once we get our, get our hands on everything. But thanks everybody for stopping by today, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.